All right, I'm going to we'll go ahead and go to where I've been. <laughs> Y'all ministers need to be on ready. It don't take that long. He put on popped up in that door already. Isn't that right? Yeah, Ukanon. That's right, we him. <sighs> yeah, Ukanon, make it five. 39. Other brother, make it 538. I'm 738. We don't look to be before you too long. Let's talk to y'all a little bit. I ain't going to take my time. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my time. I'm joking about taking a dump. Now, they got to be on red, ain't they, right? Listen to this. You can know at 539. Listen to the book. Search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life. But they are they. Which testify of me. Tell them what happened, son. You would not come to me. That you do what? Might be saved. That's what we're looking at now. The truth of the matter is, that's the whole problem we got now. A lot of us won't come to him so we can be saved. Ain't that right? Y'all all right? Amen. He even told us that he that coming to you who must believe that he is. And he's a reward of them that diligently seek him. Ain't that right? That's everybody in here. A lot of times we forget that. When we took on this commitment to say that we were going to serve him, we were going to turn our hearts and mind and totally commit to him, then that means with every situation. Isn't that right? We don't get to pick and choose what situation we give him. We got to be total in commitment of everything that we said we're going to believe him for. That's what we trust him for. And doing that, that means we can't operate by sight. When we sit down and we do it as a natural individual in the flesh, a lot of things seem almost um, um, senseless. A lot of things seem almost... Um, incomprehensible, incomprehensible. But when you actually sat down and look at it, that's when your faith has to kick in and operate. Ain't that right? Yeah. And that's what a lot of us forget. Pick my baby the 11th chapter of the book of Aubrey. That's right. Aubrey 11 and 1. He told me, you will not come unto me that you might have life. Ain't that Amen. what he told him? Amen. That's what I'm talking about. You got to think about why you think they didn't come. Because they ain't believe. Who wouldn't want life? Isn't that right? Only person that don't want life is somebody going to prison, getting the sentence of life. Isn't that right? Everybody say the point of death want life, don't they? Yeah. Even a man on death row want life, he'll go to try to fight it, try to get him to prolong it, don't he? Because you want life. The only reason for him not to come into him is because you don't believe. So he told him what you need to do is go back and you need to search the scriptures. Because you think you got it, you don't realize it's talking about me. But then you won't come unto me that you might have life. Listen. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Evidence of what? Things not seen. You know, it takes something to believe in something you can't see. Mm -hmm. It takes something to have confidence in something that you can't rationalize in your carnal mind. But that's the confidence we got to have in who we serve. So what did he do to make sure that it might help us in obtaining that? He did a couple of things. He left us some things that's evidence. Y'all got me? He left us some things that are evident for us. He left us some examples so you got something you can hold to. Pick me up at Romans chapter 15 and verse 1. This is what we have. A lot of time, you know what we'll say? What we want. Other brother, you get me the book of Luke. Oriya. 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 17.1. On that Romans 10.13, I want, I want Romans 10.15 too. Come on, I got to do some rolling so I can get out of here. Give me that Oriya 17.1. Or y'all 17 and 1, get me Romans 15 and 1, then Romans 10, 13. You still got me uh, Abarim 11 and 1? Amen. Yeah. 15 and 4. Hmm. I mean, you good deal, good deal. Listen. Then said he unto the disciples, it is impossible. But what's going to happen, son? That offenses will come. What is impossible? 
Huh? Somebody said out of the norm. What's wrong? Well, incapable. I'll go with incapable. He tried to use the opposite of it. He copied to it however it came. Isn't that right? In that right, it's not capable. In that right, it's not done have the ability if it's impossible. In that right? So now he said it's impossible. Tell her what happened. But woe unto him. Back me up, son. Talk it is impossible, you. but that offenses will come. So it makes sense to go up and pray that everything work out? No. Nope. It, it makes sense to pray to say, get rid of all my enemies and all my troubles and all my sorrows? No. Nope. He just says it's impossible. Another thing you always got to remember when you look at this is impossible. It's also impossible for Elohim to lie. Right. Isn't that right? If he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. So although it's impossible for situations not to overtake me, it's also impossible for him not to be able to make a way for me to escape. That's right. Amen. That's the good thing about it. If I focus on this impossible, I'm going to miss the other impossible. Right. Amen. Isn't that right? Yeah. It's impossible for him not to be able to make a way, though. Ain't that right? It's impossible for something not to happen. And it's also impossible for him not to be able to change whatever happened. Amen. Huh? It's impossible for him not to be able to keep his word. Huh? Amen. That's the confidence I got to have. So that give me something. So I'm talking, give me Tahaleem right quick, 23 and 1. I got to move. Why didn't Zach get up there? I wasn't even trying to do nothing. I got work I got to do. Right, help your mama. Tahalim 23 and 1. Listen to the book. Yahuwah is my shepherd. What happened, son? I shall not want. Well, see that? I ain't going to lack. If he's my shepherd, that's good. You need to know that. Hmm. Huh? So if he told me that uh, Yahuwah was my shepherd, this go right back to our fathers. That's right. What, would it, what had these men trade been? Shepherd. Keeping sheep. That's right. Now he just said, Allahim is my shepherd. And also they were going to tell you what he was going to have to be. He was going to have to be a man. That's what Moshe told him, set a man over the congregation so that the congregation be not as sheep. Well, now, Dao came along and prophesied and said that Yahuwah is my shepherd. Guess what happened? I shall not want. I ain't going to lack. What happened, son? He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He's going to put me where I'm supposed to be. What does he do? He leadeth me beside the still waters. That's what he's going to do. What is he going to do? He restored when he my soul. When he commanded Cup to come to him, the waters weren't abrupt. They weren't all wild and wave. He know, listen, he's going to leave me beside the still waters. Isn't that right? He know how I am. He know what I need. Listen, what does he do? He restores my soul. Listen, sometimes I have felt almost spiritless, lifeless. You know what he do? He come back and restore. How he going to restore if he ain't never took? Amen. See, a lot of times there were people say, they'll quote, oh, God, restore my soul. So you lost it. Huh? That's Lord, right. come back and restore to me. You ain't never lost what you're asking for. That's right. So if you're asking me to restore, you understand I got to take. Yeah. If I'm going to ask him to give me a savior, what am I saying? I'm without. That's right. I'm without. Huh? So I got to be put in a situation that make me desire to want to be saved. Huh? A lot of times we ask for things like what the book said, the spirit has to make intercession for us. Say, so you don't know what to pray for as y'all to. It got to say thing you can't utter. You can't even groan. The spirit got me in it. When you pray, some got to take it through for you and communicate it for you. You don't know what to pray for. We pray carnally. We pray automatically for the most carnal things versus not my will, your will be done. He can accept that. Because when his will being done, he said, you'll let me do what I do. That's all I want. That's all he said I want. Let me do what I do and watch how I work. But us being who we are in the flesh, and this is the struggle we have. Well, the inner man, the inner man desire and earn and, and desire for him, but the outer man earn and desire, desire to do what it want to do. And that right, it want quick relief. It want temporary everything. It want to move now, let everything happen for it now. But the inner man desire Yahuwah. Isn't that right? And we got to desire to wait on him. Isn't that right? He said, just like the husband, man, what does he do? He wait for the prayer. He don't plant nothing and go out there and lick no seeds in no dirt. He know that's stupid. He knew when he planted, it going to take time. He knew when he planted, he knew what time it was to put seeds in the ground. And he knew what about time it should start coming up. So the husband been desired for it. When he put it down, they know I already knew when I planted these seeds, I went eat tomorrow. I knew I went eat next week or next month. But I knew there was a time and a season when this stuff going to come forth and they're going to bring forth fruit and I'm going to be able to reap it in the harvest. Huh? Yeah. That's what
master mind, why don't we have that same mind that come down to the word? But yet he told her to let this mind be in us, which was also in Yahuwah. In Yahusha. That's the mind we got. Huh? That mind will we'll wait. Listen. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness. For his what, son? His namesake. Yay. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Tell me what's going to happen, Brandon. I will fear no evil. Why will we be fainting and falling if we walk in where we're supposed to? Mm. He said, I won't fear. He, so in order he said to do this, I've been in it. I'm in that situation. He said, and I shall fear no evil. Tell him why, son. For thou art with me. Tell him what happened, son. Thy rod and thy staff. You know, when she, you know when sheep not afraid? Not when the shepherd them. They know what the raw are going to do. That's what he got the staff for. That's his weapon. He ain't going to lead no sheep without no weapon. He know what he got to do. He's set to defend. He know these sheep can't defend themselves. Isn't that right? He's set to defend them. They trusted the shepherd. That anything come, that shepherd got the oversight. Isn't that right? Just like, just like Cump told her, taking the oversight thereof. He ain't going to say, I asked the sheep, you think y'all let me, y'all throw in the truck? Take the oversight. Huh? Not by constraint, either going to be willing. Ain't going to do up no filthy look. It's going to do up a ready mind. Huh? Y'all didn't pay attention to what you called then. When Laban asked her to appoint him, his, what was it? His what? Appoint him his what? He said, I can't do it for no filthy looking. So let me do it with a ready mind. So let me go through your sheep. Let me pass through this day and let me start to separate them. Huh? And let them prove out my Sadiq. Come on, y'all got to wake up, folks. There's a lot of times situations come to prove you out. Hereby, let it prove out my righteousness. Everything we do can't be in our sight, in our comprehension. But that's why we got to know him. Yeah. Isn't that right? When we know him, we trust, regardless of how a situation looks, he's stronger than the situation. Yeah. So we know it's impossible offense must come, but he told me something. What did he say? You still got it, 17 and 2? What did he tell them, son? But woe unto him through whom they come. Why, son? It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck. And he be what? Cast into the sea than that he should offend one of these little ones. You think this hymn is um, better than going to prison? Hmm? Y'all think they're better than somebody losing their car and repossession or somebody losing their job? A millstone around your neck and you be cast into the depth of the sea. Do you know drowning is one of the worst deaths you'll find? A millstone. You're not heavy, not, not just a rock. He's a millstone. You're not heavy, a millstone is. Put it around your neck and you be cast in the sea. He said, that'd be better for you. So what worse he got for you than that? Then you should offend one of these little ones. Right. Sometimes we don't consider a lot of things. He don't punish these people here. I got something better. No. I got something better. He said, that would have been better for you than what I'm going to do. So you think about if you offend one of us and a millstone ain't on your neck and you didn't go down in the water. You in trouble. You in, he said, that would better. I probably let you get off and you just put a millstone on your neck and jump and drown yourself in the, in the depth of the sea. You know, you can put a millstone and drown in a dove in a bathtub. He said, go to the depth of the sea and do it. He said, that had been better than what I'm going to do to you. But now what has to happen? Where's our confidence? Listen to it. Come on, give me that. You still got me the 23rd chapter of the book of Tahalim. Other brother still got me 15, Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Other brother got me Romans 13 and about 10 and about 13. It's all the same word. Listen to the book. Take heed to yourselves. Come on, son. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. And if he repent, forgive him. Come on, son. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day. What he told me to do, son? And seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. Yes. And the apostles said unto the Allahim, increase our faith. Brother Mike, do my favor. Talk to my wife for a second. Check on my wife for me for a second. I want you to tell us something funny. Um, this is what we consider. Every one of us looking at what he told us. In order for them to sit here and they look at being in the flesh, when somebody offends you, you go through a situation, the first thing it is is to always look for your own resolve. You always look for your own outsource, your own deliverance, your own relief. Yet when they sat here and they looked at what he told them, I look at this. There's no way in the world I could see somebody here offending me that many times. Not in no one day. But he said it's impossible, offense gonna come. And one day this can happen. And a person can keep saying that, excuse me. You know, this get more than what we can do. So you know what they told him to do? Increase our faith. Because it's gonna get hard for me. That's gonna be hard for me. Because that's just gonna be hard for me 
to me that somebody could do something like that that many times in one day and not know what they're doing and continue to tell me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But they realized they were going to need some. Increase my faith. This is what a lot of us don't look for. Why we don't ask for that a lot of times? Versus asking why you don't do, why you hadn't yet. He said, they asked, increase our faith. So then we got to look at what has to happen. We got to look at the word. Isn't that right? Romans chapter 10 at verse 13. Listen. For whosoever shall call upon the name of Yahushua shall be saved. Listen. How then shall they call on him? In whom? They have not believed. So you got to think about that. Everybody here want to be saved, right? Man. Well, then he said, how are you going to call on him in whom you have not believed? For years we've been told that. Just call on Jesus. Ask Jesus. Sometimes you're going through, you just got to, you don't have to say a whole lot. Sometimes you can just moan when you call him. Isn't that right? Sometimes you got to call him like you want him. But you're calling, but have you believed? You see what I'm saying? The truth be told, we utter, we utter words, but we don't actually believe. That's the purpose of us coming through and having the scriptures. Written in the prophet, how we all supposed to be what? In being taught, it, it produced something in us. It produced a working of faith. Now, he told us how we're going to call on him in whom we have not what? Believe. How we're going to call on him in whom? We have not believed. How we're going to call upon him or whom? They have not believed. Tell me what's my next problem. And how shall they believe in him? In whom? They have not heard. And how shall they hear? Without a raha. And how, and how are they going to be a raha? And how shall they preach except they be sent? All these things, we start looking at the order he set up. So look at how many things had to be set up just to get you to a point where it's written in the prophet that they should all be taught of Allahim. Because you can't believe except you hear. You can't hear without a raha, and a raha can't be preaching except they've been sent. All this was done to get you to try to get a point, try to get you to a point to the promise so you can be saved. Y'all got me? A lot of things been put into place so you can be saved. A lot of situations set up for you to be saved. Because now you got to believe in something that you can't see. Huh? Based off what you've heard. You do it all the time. How many of y'all have been told something that was a lie and you believed it? You know why it was set up that way? So it shouldn't be hard for you to believe in something that's true then, should it? How many of y'all have thought something negative about somebody based on what somebody told you and you didn't know it for yourself, but you were told? He said it shouldn't be hard for you to believe something true about somebody and it is true. We do it all the time. It's just when it come down to him, we find all these reasons and logic to say it doesn't make sense. But you believe the whole, the only reason these things happen in your natural life is to just show you you're a hypocrite. When I say you all of it, show you a hypocrite. So I mean you'll believe something right off about something negative and not knowing the full story about it. He said, well, why is it when I give you the full story on the truth, you won't believe it? Mm. Why is it when I give you the full truth of a story, you won't believe it? So it just shows you just how the flesh works. It contradicts. Just because it's been told something and there's a law against it, your natural flesh just naturally wants to go against it. Hmm? Come on to that 15th chapter of the book of Romans. Let me get out of the way. I still want that 23rd chapter of the book of Tahalim. Still want Arbery chapter 11 too. Listen. We then that are strong ought to, ought, do what? ought to bear the infirmities of the weak. And do what? And not to please ourselves. Tell them what happened, son. Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. Tell them what happened, son. For even the Mashiach please not himself. For who now? Even the Mashiach please not himself. Back me up a little bit. What he told us to do? Let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. Tell them what happened. For even the Mashiach please not himself. Tell them what happened. But as it is written... The reproaches of them that reproached thee fell on me. Listen. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. What was it written for? Were written for our learning. That we through what? Patience. And comfort. Of the scriptures. Might have what? Hope. That's why we're here. All this was set up to give you hope. So anytime you feel like you despaired of hope, you need to go back and look at the scripture. Because that's what it was written for. That's the purpose of going back doing what he told you to. Search it. Because you think you have eternal life and they're talking about me. The whole book talking about me. So anytime you feel like you despair or hope or in doubt about it, go back and look at the scripture. That's what it was written for. That's the purpose of him coming, making sure that you got a full understanding. Isn't that right? A comprehension about him and his suffering. And look at what it revealed for us. Isn't that right? right. 
Sometimes you can allow, and I told you guys many a time, you can allow your labor to outweigh the reward. Simply because you deal with the situation for what it is now, you're not looking at the outcome of it. Y'all got me? Let's look at a couple of things since we brought up these situations since we're there. Let's look at the, see if that's the uh, 20, uh, or y'all. Y'all going to work with me. Mine right. going a little bit, a little bit here. We running just a little bit. Y'all do know I had no plans of being up here tonight. Well, it happened. You see how versatile you got to be, though? You got to be so versatile for anything. You don't never know if somebody gets stuck on the toilet. But I know how you get called and you weren't looking for it. Stuff just drop. And I just drop like the beastie boy. 22, 22, give me 45. Other brother going to get me your Ukanon, your Ukanon chapter 17 and about six. Other brother going to get me your Ukanon. Goodness, brother, man. He's good. Y'all know where I work for a good man. Y'all know that? But good to know I can do this by my darn self. Listen to it. Don't try it. Or we are 2245. Other brother got me your Ukanon. Chapter, <laughs> chapter 17 and about 6. Other brother got me um, your Ukanon, chapter 18 and verse 1. Let's just look at some. We'll still finish up that Tahalim, chapter 23. Listen to the book. And when he rose up from prayer and was come to his disciples, he found them sleeping for sorrow. And said unto them, What did he tell them? Why sleep ye? Rise and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. Listen. And while he yet spake, what behold, happened? a multitude, and he that was called Yehuda, one of the twelve, went before them and drew near unto Yehusha to kiss him. But Yehusha said unto him, Yehuda, betrayest thou the Son of Man with a kiss? Listen. When they which were about him saw what would follow, they said unto him, Allahim, shall we smite with the sword? Y'all hear that? And they that did what? And they which were about him saw what would follow. They saw, and the day that was about him, they saw what was finna happen after he got kissed. What happened, son? They said unto him, Allahim, yes. shall we smite with the sword? They said, shall we take and shall we smite with the sword? So it wasn't just one man with a weapon. Tell him what happened. And one of them smote the servant of the high Kohan and cut off his right ear. What happened? And Yahusha answered and said. And who? Yahusha answered and said. Yahusha did what? Answered and said. What did he tell him? Suffer ye thus far. He said, you don't let this went this far. And I used to mess with it now. He said, you don't let this stop. I've been telling you what was going to happen at the first. It came along and told you I was going to be delivered in enemy hands. I was going to be betrayed. Right. They done got to a point and said, and the man done came up and kissed him. And everybody done came around him with staffs and swords. And they going to jump up there and try to cut somebody off. He said, you know, let it went this far. Might as well just stop it. Right. I'm used to doing nothing now. Been talking to you. Told you I wake up and pray. You been sleep slobbing. I've been telling y'all to wake up and pray. Now, when they kick off, you don't suffer it this far. Go ahead and take it. When these white folks put y'all back in slavery, go ahead and take it now. Y'all, why, best be honest, I don't blame any white folks for keep killing these black kids. They just put it right in your face. I don't even blame them. I don't even blame them. These people ain't even scared of you. They know what you're going to do. You did your little Freddie Gray kick up. You did your little kick up by a couple other people, but you right back to sleep. Ain't nothing to stop. It's just like they told them before. Since the fathers have fell asleep, all things will continue the same. Ain't nothing changed. That's what he loved. He's been telling us the whole time since he jumped on the scene with him that he was going to go up he was going to be betrayed. Isn't that right? They were going to crucify him. The third day he's going to rise. And all of a sudden now they jumped up and he's getting ready to get grabbed. He's getting ready to tell my son, do you want? What you think? <laughs> These folks finna grab me. What you think? Do I want you? Man, just stop it. Just leave him. Don't even worry about him. I'm asking. Joe done got me. You, you, you want us to help? Stop. Just stop. Just stop. <laughs> No, nah, don't worry about it. At this point, no. Not at this point. <laughs> That's how bad off we are. He, done, he just went on the tone. You don't let it went this far. I don't use a fooling with it now. Just leave it alone. Tell him what he did at this point. And he touched his ear. And did what? Healed him. Wow. 
probably want to snatch that nigga's skin off his face. So he's joking, done set him playing around. I've been telling you for the long way it's going to happen. Done set him, now the folk done come up and grab him. Now you ready to cut off one of them. So just leave it alone. Just going to put the man, just went on to touch the man. Oh, here you go, let's go. Again, he had to suffer this. He don't go for stuff like that. Yeah. People don't realize he don't go for stuff like that. Pick me the 18 chapter, 17 chapter, 17. 17 and 6. I ain't going to try to hold y'all long. Appreciate Brother Mike and Rudy pressing their way. I know Amen. some of my other ones, you were pressed too. So they probably trying to hold off on Perrine. Or maybe just done died out. Folks just died out over time. You could lose that fire. I remember you used to make that ride down from Memphis, didn't you? You, you and Tim. You the grab Tim. And sometimes Tim keep them little cute eyes up down. And you press on down. And you, you were not every time. One time I think you missed a ride with him, didn't you? Them eyes, you remember them cute eyes coming every time? Leon said he remember one time riding out, he wasn't no glow in that seat over there, wasn't it? I remember he missed, no, he missed a ride. Who I remember him missing a ride too? I know I remember, I remember you missing a ride. Now. You made everyone, I know you missed one. I know I remember you coming down one time. He thought, now he talking about, probably like two. Yeah, I remember about one of them, yeah. But it was a press though, one. He had to go get back and go to work the next day. I remember I tell you to press now every week for Adam. He about to go to sleep now, but I remember it ain't the first time he be pressed. That seat, that seat so comfortable. That joke lean for you says, that joke like a little crit for a man. <laughs> <laughs> he don't need to lean for Don't try to play. You ho oh, oh, ho, you good? I'm good, man. But I thought I had it on me. I'm about to lock and load on that joker. Hey, that's an old crit that started putting gorilla meat there. Well, there you go. That's why he stood up. He know it get tight. I know it get tight. Hey, you gotta press it. It's tight. Brandon be in that bitch trying to hold on to them. And then, when you call, <laughs> that thing be coming. Stand with me, Brandon. You know, what you messing with Brandon for? We talking about you. That ain't right, Brandon. That's right. Tell, tell me, he'll age me for himself. That's right. Let's look at what happened on here. The 17 chapter book of your Ukanon, 17 to 6. Listen. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me Tell out, of, what happened. out of the world. Tell them who they were, son. Thine they were. He said they was yours. What happened? And thou gavest them me. He said you gave them to me. What happened, son? And they have kept thy word. And he said they kept your word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me yes. are of thee. Come on. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. You hear that? I gave them the same thing you gave to me. What happened? And they have received them mm -hmm. and have known surely that I came out from thee. Mm -hmm. And they have believed that thou didn't send me. Mm -hmm. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Y'all hear this? He said, I ain't praying for you now. He said, I'm praying for them. So I'm not praying for the rich. Come on, son. But for them which thou hast given me. Come on. For they are thine. And who else? And all mine are thine. They are who? They are mine. And, for, for they are thine. And all who? Mine are thine. Yes. And thine are mine. Yes. And I am glorified in them. Listen. And now I am no more in the world, yeah. but these are in the world. He said no longer he going to be in the world, but he said they're going to be in the rich. Come on. And I come to thee, Kadash, Kadash Abba, yeah. keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me. Come on. That they may be one as we are. Come on. While I was with them in the world. What did he do? I kept them in thy name. Listen. Those that thou gavest me. Those that that, what happened? Those that thou gavest me. Those that thou did what? Gavest me. Tell them what happened, son. I have kept. He said, I kept them. And what happened? And none of them is lost. And none of who? None of them is lost. None of who? Them is lost. What happened, son? But the son of perdition. Uh-huh. That the scripture might be fulfilled. Y'all heard that? He said, all of them that you gave me, he said, I hadn't lost none of them. Not one of them. He said that the scripture can be fulfilled. Ain't that beautiful? That's what he told you. Now, when you go back and search the scripture... You're going to think that you have eternal life. They're talking about me. See what prayer do? He prayed this. Ain't that beautiful? He prayed this, that I've lost none of these so that the scripture can be fulfilled. Ain't that beautiful? 18 chapter, 18 and 1. 18 and 1. She just excited. Listen. When Yahushua had spoken these words, what happened, son? he went forth with his disciples over the brook Kidron, yes. where was a garden into the which he entered and his disciples. Come on. And Yehuda also, which betrayed him, knew the place. What happened? For Yahushua oft times resorted thither with his disciples. Yeah. Yehuda then, having received a band of men and officers yeah. from the chief Kohan and Pharisees, 
cometh thither with lanterns and torches and weapons. Yeah. Yahusha therefore, knowing all things that should come upon him. Y'all hear that? He knew all things that should do what? Come upon him. He knew all things that were going to do what? That should come upon him. That was going to come where now? Upon him. So what happened? Went forth and said unto them. What did he say? Whom seek ye? He want to know, who, who y'all looking for? What happened, son? They answered him, uh -huh. Yahusha of Nazareth. They said, Yahusha of Nazareth. What did he tell them? Yahusha saith unto them. What did he say? I am he. I am he. What happened, son? And Yehuda also, which betrayed him, stood with them. Yes. As soon then as he had said unto them, I am he. Tell them what happened. They went backward. They went backwards. Tell them what happened, Brandon. And fell to the ground. Yeah. Then asked he them again. Asked again. Whom seek ye? Who you seeking? And they said, Yahusha of Nazareth. They said, we're looking for Yahusha of Nazareth. What happened? Yahusha answered. What did he say? I have told you that I am he. I told you I'm he. What happened? If therefore ye seek me. If therefore what? Ye seek me. If therefore you seek who? Me. If you seek who? Me. What you want me to do? Let these go their way. Why? That the saying might be fulfilled. Yeah. Which he spake of them which thou gavest me, have I lost none. That's why we're him. See, a lot of time when we look at salvation and look at what it takes, it takes a lot of giving of yourself. So he had to sacrifice himself. See, he didn't look, he told you every man look on the things of other and not on the things of himself. When they came, he didn't want to make it no mystery. He made it known. Who are you looking for? When they told him, he said, I'm he. He made sure he said it twice because the thing was of Yahuwah. Yeah, right. And he looked at, let them go. If I'm who you're looking for, he said, so the scripture can be fulfilled. So you look at when you pray for something, you got to put some actions in with it. Mm -hmm. You just don't pray and he do something. When you pray, start manifesting the word. Amen. The book lets you know why. He said, so the scripture can be fulfilled. Y'all got me? Amen. And the, Matthew Yahoo. 26, uh, 26.50. It's all the same word. Let me say that what I want. 26.50. Listen. And Yahushua said unto him, Friend, wherefore art thou come? Then came they and laid hands on Yahushua and took him. And behold, one of them which were with Yahushua stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck a servant of the high Kohans and smote off his ear. Yeah. Then said Yahushua unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Yeah. Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my Abba? And he, can, and he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of Malachi. Think that I can do what? Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my Abba. And what happened? He shall presently give me more than 12 legions of Malachi. Now think, don't think that I can't pray to the Father. And what will happen? He shall presently give me more. You say he'll send me some later? And he shall presently. This ain't something that's going to come to pass. He'll do it right now. What he'll give me? More than 12 legions of Malachi. Well, what's the problem? But how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled? Scripture got to be fulfilled. Scripture got to be fulfilled. A lot of times we don't consider that when we look at our situations and things that happen. The situation, the scriptures got to be fulfilled. Y'all didn't know that? The scriptures, the scriptures got to be fulfilled. Huh? Yes, that these people are going to come up and they're going to do things against us and it's going to be better for them had they went and cast themselves in the depths of the sea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But since they did, he'll be recompensing when he come back. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. Right. A lot of times we want to be the reapers of the reward, but we want to go through, through the suffering of what it takes in order to get to that point. So we have to have a mindset to realize somebody got to be a test pilot to go through him for this to happen. Amen. Just like he did. Isn't that right? Yeah. The book said he left us an example who did no sin, and we should follow, who, and follow his steps, who did no sin, neither was deceit found in his mouth. And that's the same mindset we got to have. And a lot of times we don't take it to heart at that point. Isn't that right?
That's the purpose of why when we come here, I get on y'all about sleeping and playing. So I know during the week y'all gonna be tired, things going on. But at some point, y'all got to lock your minds on, on elevating to the truth to enough to realize things are going to happen. Things are going to come at you, and you can't crash at every situation. And about the 21st chapter, 24th chapter, so the book of Math, um, uh, Marshall Lee, the book said, if thou faint in the day of adversity, he said, your strength is small. When things happen, we can't crash. You know, it takes something to get yourself up even when you don't feel like it. It takes something when all odds, everything against you and you keep going. It takes something to do it, but that's when you got to have confidence in something. Hmm? And when you don't have confidence in something, of course you ain't going to do it. Why would I trust something I don't have confidence in? I don't trust a crackhead, so I don't have confidence in a crackhead. I don't expect a crackhead to do nothing but what a crackhead do fail me. The man who I serve ain't a crackhead. I got confidence in him. And I expect him to do exactly what he said he'll do. Y'all got me? Amen. And I've gotten that confidence through two things, through what was left that was evident and through experience. Hmm? Fifth chapter of the book of Romans, 5 and 1. Somebody asked me, they said, Pastor, well, how you wind up doing the way, how did you get to the point of you standing in what you do? I, you know, a lot of things, and it, and it wasn't for me that things happen. You're not, you don't realize a lot of times when you do things, just like I'm sure with our, with our forefathers, the patriarchs, they didn't consider the thing they did were for others. But that's the only reason they got you standing. But those are that are standing, you ain't standing for yourself. That's right. You got you standing because somebody coming behind you. That's right. When I came along, just be honest, nobody didn't set no footprints for me. It just didn't. Nobody didn't taught me how to be no man either. One of the things, you had to pick up the scraps and you got to just make it work. Like I said, if it's wrong, you're stuck with your wrong plan or your wrong operation. You got to come back and get a room, rough room where you can come in and correct it and do better. Y'all got me a lot of stuff. Y'all come out and get on your heart. Sometimes y'all you, might feel like I'm too hard on you, but I'm trying to set a precedent for you. You come through, you'll make even less mistakes than I made. You'll be better than me. As Shaul said, men are the brother. He said, waxing bold through my confidence. Waxing confident through my bonds are much more bold to speak the word. When I tell these brothers, they get it. They probably be much more bolder than me. They been tell They ain't seen nobody rain and stop my mouth. They ain't seen none of these guys make me curl up and roll up on no pews. They ain't got no being to doing it themselves. They got up and they pulled a gun up here and put a car on and walked the dog. And they're right, coming with confidence, knowing who they're working for and what they believe. As Shaul said, I know in whom I believe. I'm persuaded he able to keep that which I committed against that day. Isn't that right? That's what keep me getting up and going. If I ain't had that car, I wouldn't come. If I ain't feel like the man will do what he say he's going to do, it don't make no sense for me to fool with him. Y'all got me? I believe what the man said. They got a sweepstake come out. You can win $7,000 a week from the um, publishing house sweepstake. You know why I'm paying no attention? Because I don't believe it. That's right. I don't believe it. I ain't going to buy the magazine. I ain't going to sign up. Well, it don't matter. You know, you can just, I'm not going to do it because whatsoever not a faith sin. is sin. I don't believe in it. I ain't like these people. I don't go do it talking about, well, what is going to hurt? It's going to hurt a lot because it's a waste of my time if I don't believe in it. Everything I'm doing, I believe in it. Y'all yeah. got me. Amen. Regardless of other situations that happen, people, all the, this is what a lot of y'all do. Y'all get yourselves in a situation and feel like you're the only person. You ain't the only person. The Bible said the same affliction accomplished in your brother than in your whore. Right. You might not know another person that's going through what you're going, but you ain't the only one. Right. Huh? Yeah. 11 chapter right quick, the book of Romans. 11 and 1. Goodness, y'all got me up here. Long I was going to be. <laughs> Romans 11 and 1. Listen. I say Roman then. Roman got me 5 and 1. Romans 5 and 1. Listen. I say then. Listen. Hath Allahim cast away his people. Yeah, he what? Allahim forbid. He said he forbid. He said no. Tell him what happened, son. For I also am an Yasharite. Yes. Of Yasharal, of the yes. seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. Yes. Allahim hath not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Listen. What he not... But the scripture says of Al Yahu. Yes. How he maketh intercession to Allahim against Yasharal. Y'all hear what he did? His prayer was against us. His prayer was against us. Hmm? All right. He didn't make intercession for his prayer was against us. Problem y'all got, y'all didn't realize when he was up on the two. That's why I try to tell y'all, you got to be real mindful. That they set up and told he said, forgive all them people. <laughs> all Yahoo will make an intercession against them. He said, you had already killed all his prophets. He said, you already had tore down his altars, and I, and I alone am left. So what do you think he was saying? They have no idea, do they? 
The book didn't tell you he made no intercession for it. He would make an intercession against you. You didn't pay attention when Yahushua was on the scene. Hold you got some. Matthew Yahoo. 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 25. We're jumping from there. It's all the same word. Make it 23, 26. Same word. Listen. Thou blind Pharisee, cleanse first that which within, within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. Yes. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto whited sepulchres, yes. which indeed appear beautiful outward. But why? are within full of dead men's bones. That's what we try to get y'all to do, clean the inside before you try to work on the outside. Listen. And of all uncleanness. Listen. Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Listen. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. Yeah. Tell them why. Because ye build the tombs of the prophets. You build a who? Tombs of the prophets. You build the tombs of who? The prophets. Tell them what happened. And garnish the sepulchres of the Sadiq. Listen. And say, if we had been in the days of our Abbas. Tell them what we would have done. We would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Listen. Wherefore, ye be witnesses unto yourselves. That you do what? That ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Listen what happened. Fill ye up then the measure of your father. You hear what he said? The same statue. He told you to fill you up the same measure of your father. Listen to what he accused you of. Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers. Yeah. How can ye escape the Why did he call you that? Probably because of what you did to his heel. They don't pay attention. I know they don't pay attention. Wouldn't well, make no sense to call you a serpent, but to tell you it was imminent between me and you. Wouldn't well, make no sense to call you a serpent except for the fact you bruised my heel. Listen. How can ye escape the damnation of hell? Listen, why? Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and <clears throat> scribes. What happened? Some of them ye shall kill and crucify. Yes. And some of them shall ye scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city. Yes. That upon you may come all the Sadiq blood shed upon the Aritz. From who? The blood of Sadiq Abel, yes. unto the blood of Zacharias, son of Berechias, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. Yes. Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee. Yes. How often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. All right, back over son, the 11th chapter of the book of Romans. 11 and 2. Listen. Allahim hath not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Yeah. What he not, what the scripture said. Of you don't know what the scripture say. Tell him what it say, son. Of al Yahoo. Yeah. How he maketh intercession to Allahim against Yasharal, saying. What did he say? Yahuwah, they have killed thy prophets. Uh-huh. And dig down thine altars. Wow. Wow, first time I heard that. He just told you that. So you build the tombs of them. He just said and accused you of it. This generation, this generation ain't over with yet. You still him. All right. He just come along and let you know what happened. I'm charging you with the blood all the way from Abel, all the way up. From Abel, blood, all the way up. So I'm charging you. When all y'all who cried out, that's what he said you did. He said you killed all the prophets. He just said you killed the prophets. He said you killed all of them. Listen. And I am left alone. So what sense it made to say you killed the prophet versus all the prophets? If I said, and I alone am what? Left alone. If I'm the only one left, that means you killed all of them. Ain't no more of them. Listen. And they seek my life. What happened, son? But what said... The answer of Allahim unto him. Talk to me, son. I have reserved to myself. What did he reserve, son? 7,000 men. Which have did what? Who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. So I don't really not brought y'all to that point because a lot of times you go through something, you think you're the only one, and you're the only one left. He got people reserved. Yeah. Yeah. That's up. 
you're not the only one. Just for the record, nobody here the only one to go through nothing. That's right. Nobody here the only one to suffer nothing from the marriages to um, kids not doing what they need to do, from jobs not doing right, from health issues. You're just not the only one. That's right. It's plenty of people, but it's easy to make yourself the only one to get defeated. It's either get situation, get withdrawn and pull back. That's when you need strength to pull forward. Right. Man, the world will overtake you. You can't fight these folks by yourself. I'm talking about just all the difficult issues you got to fight. I was talking to um, Justin today. What thing was today? Probably yesterday, maybe I was talking with him about how people just have no idea just how many different forces are working against you out here. Do y'all know you got to deal with just everybody out here pretty much sold their soul to the devil? We talking about literally, literally and figuratively. These people have sold their souls. All your athletes have pretty much sold their souls yeah. over. Yep. Huh? Track and field. You got tennis players. You got football players, basketball players. You got hockey players. You got um, um, soccer players. All these people have sold themselves out from, from uh, performers, from, from um, actors to singers. All these people have sold their souls out so they can try to compete. Look at America now. I was telling them, when a person to sit out on the line and give up everything they got, their last diamond dollar and homeless, to get on the line, they stand on the line with thousands of people for one shot to get in the room just to get a chance to get sent to Hollywood, to get shot down in Hollywood, thinking if they get there, they got to win. You and all these other thousands of people in this line, and you ain't even in the only city in the running. What you think these people will do? What you think these people will do? Anything. All they have for is just one shot. If I can get to Hollywood, I know I'm the next American Idol. You know these people sell their soul out of sitting there like, do you know you're on the street, you ride down the street and sit at red lights with people like this? Do y'all know y'all shop in grocery stores with people with minds like this? Y'all know y'all work on jobs with people with minds like this? Huh, everybody just want one shot. And what they'll do to get that one shot to make it is almost unbelievable. These people will sell out anything they got just for an opportunity to just get a chance to be out here to have this one little light, fame, or glory that nobody keeps forever. History have taught us that there is nobody that keeps that fame and glory forever. Nobody. So what you laboring for ain't even for nothing eternal. That's right. But that's the mindset of the people you deal with. And you're going to go out here and you're going to try to compete with these people. You're going to go out and try to emulate with these people. And you're going to try to look why things work because look at what they'll do. But they don't consider there's an end to every situation you got. Yeah. If you sick, you ain't going to be sick forever. huh? If you hurt, you ain't going to hurt forever. If you without, you ain't going to be without forever. Ain't that right? But these people don't consider there's a forever on the other end of what they're giving themselves yeah. over to. Ain't that right? There's another day coming behind the day they done sold themselves out for. So you got to consider when you're going through something, you ain't the only one. Huh? You ain't the only one. Look at the First Corinthians chapter 10, son. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, make it verse 11. Listen. Now all these things happen unto them for in samples. For what reason? And they are written for our admonition. What is admonition? Not ammunition. That's good, too. You can load guns with it. Huh? We take this admonition and use it for our ammunition. Y'all got it? This is what we're going to use to defend ourselves, knowing that all these things that was written were written for our admonition. Isn't that right? And we use it for ammunition. Listen. Upon whom the ends of the world are come. Y'all hear this? The end of the world going to come. These people that came before, it's over with for them. What sense it made to go back and repeat fire and do what they did? The end is over with for these people. The next time these people get up, they're going to be in judgment. So all these people that came through and suffered and that went without, that died contrary, was an example for us. This was warning for us not to do the same thing, mama and grumble. Not to turn away, not give yourself over to a lust. And don't sit down and eat and drink and rise up to play. Y'all do the same thing every year when we get ready to do Passat. Y'all do the same thing. Sit down like you get serious, going to get right back up and play. Book done told you, though, but you do it anyway. But then, as he said, but how is the scripture going to be fulfilled? Listen. Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth, Take heed. lest he fall. Listen. There hath no temptation taken you. Except you the only one. But such as is common to man. I 
I know mine be more than I can take. I ain't no man can take what I can take. What did he say? There hath no temptation taken you. What happened? But such as is common to man. You know what the word common means? Share by many. You ain't the only one. You ain't the only one. You can make yourself the only one and you can lose it. You can lose this fight. Mm -hmm. I watch some of y'all, your songs are sad. A lot of stuff I watch y'all do. I watch, let me tell you something. It's not one of y'all in here, I don't know y'all. Backwards and forward. I know every one of my members. I know why y'all stay away from me and why you stay back. Out of sight is out of mind. You ain't out of mind. I know what you're doing. I know you flimsy. I know why y'all stay away from me, because I know you flimsy. You just flimsy. I already know why you stay back. I know it's a good reason. You want to hear the all-time favorite? I know you be busy. Other people need you. It's always good when you don't need you. know who don't need a pastor? A bastard. Who don't need a pastor is a bastard. Don't make sense. When the man prayed, said that the congregation of who will be not a sheep that have no shepherd. Right. What sense does it make? You don't have to have one. Right. I just they don't be one about it. I just, I just, you know, I know other people need you. You're a bastard. I just watch you. You just do, you don't know you're a bastard. You know it now. They tell me, who are you calling a bastard? That would be you. Well, it makes no sense. What kind of sheep going to sit out here in the show? He's he going to go on and say, no, no, the other sheep need you. Go on over there. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one the wolf going to get. This is one where I don't want to be all up in it, man. I ain't, you know, I don't want to look like I'm trying to kiss it behind. Any sheep, they're going to stay on out there. Something to get your behind. All the sheep want to be protected, going to stay right with the fold. I already know what y'all be pulling. Y'all do stuff. Y'all, let me tell you what y'all do. They set, I watch them, they set themselves up for failure. It ain't hard to set yourself, you don't want to do something. Looking for a reason so you can fail, so you can go on out here. You got to look for no reason. Just be a failure and do it. Yep. It ain't hard to be a failure. That's what we were. If you weren't a failure, you wouldn't have came. I was a failure. That's why I came. I ain't come here no success story. <laughs> Who come to the man of success story? Who go to the hospital and just hang up room, fill out paperwork, and sit there for four or five hours, and they find a the call and say, I go and help the other people. I don't need nothing. Why are you in here? You know what I'm saying? There's other people in here sick. Go ahead. Why are you in here? It makes no sense. Y'all got to think. Y'all just got to think. Y'all don't realize you think you're smart. No, I'm trying to learn how to stand by myself. That's Bible. I just ain't found. Where, where y'all read in the Bible told you to learn how to stand by yourself? When Yahushua was on the tooth, they compelled somebody to help him. He ain't after none, did it? They could see common sense, the man need help. The man got a done stick on his back. Help the man. They ain't got enough done sense to even see that. Simply, they would have enough sense to make somebody help him. Y'all ain't got enough sense to realize you need help. Trying to stay by yourself, going to work it out by yourself, figure it out by yourself. And that's why you in the mess you in by yourself. I can help them if they let me. Yep. All y'all got to do is stay with the plan the man designated. Your plan, you, right, why a lot of stuff don't work when I tell y'all? Because I done told you it ain't going to work. It'll work if you just left me out of it. <laughs> if you've been somewhere else, you've been high. Right. Once you done came around and told you, you know it ain't going to work. I said, no, it ain't going to work. Yep. I said, no, nah, I wouldn't do it. What did he mean when he said he wouldn't do it? Did he say don't do it or did he say he wouldn't do it? Why did you come ask me? Some stuff ain't hard. Some of y'all had to tell like that because a lot of y'all can't take it. A lot of y'all can't take it. They'll die. They'll kill. A lot of them, I tell them the truth, they'll kill out. I said, 400, they see stuff, straight failure. They still going headlong. You just be like, I ain't never seen so many dumb folks in my life. Some stuff you ain't got to tell me. If rocks hitting out this building, hit me in my head. Ain't nobody got to tell me no rock. I know that my head is swelling up. Blood gassing all down here, swelling up. Pop, pop, poop, poop. Somebody got to tell me them rocks. Common sense don't tell me that. Come on, son. I ain't used to me keep bothering with it. They're going to still be stupid. Come on. But Allah is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able. What happened, son? But will, with the temptation. What did he do, son? Also make a way to escape. Y'all know when it three, um, Aubrey Boy went into the fire furnace? Y'all know why he didn't put the fire furnace out? He knew they could take it. If he didn't, to put it out. Did it make sense to put him in there? They couldn't take it. The boys, when you read the story, they closed. They didn't get smith. They didn't want a stench of smoke on it. 
Hmm? Neither would they even burn. Somebody said, I don't see why he just didn't put it out. Because you're an idiot. I told you what I'd do. I wouldn't let them be tempted to bud they were able. They couldn't take it out to put it out. I knew they could take it. That's why I let them go in. A lot of times y'all don't realize why stuff coming, why stuff happen. You can take it. You don't know what you can take till you get in there. Hmm? That's why he made the man command him. You three come forth. At that point, he realized y'all need to come on out. I ain't going to let you suffer no more than you're able. Mm. Let you get in there a little while. I let the man come in and put you in. I make him come back and tell him to bring you out. You three, come out. Had to bring him back out. That's what he do. Sometimes he got to put us in the fire. Yeah. Ain't that right? Just so you can be tired. You can, you can be tried. You can be tired. They told him. They said, if he don't deliver, he's able. He said, you willing to go through that, you'll die for me. You'll go in there and say, if I don't do it, you, but you know I can do it. You go in there. You can stand it. A lot of stuff I look at get for I faint, I can take it. I could take it. I get stuff happen, man. I heat up, shoot through the roof, come on back, and I got to land. Reason I got to land, I got to get to work. I do what natural to it. Get hot, don't like it. Ah, come on back and land. So I got to work. I can't stay up there too long. I got to plant myself back down. I got to get to work. And I used to keep killing a whole lot of time with that. He ain't going to give me nothing I can't handle. And he give it to me to handle him because he want me to build my more, he got to help me to build more confidence. Somebody coming behind me. Y'all got me? All right. I try to tell him, listen here, that serving your Kobe behind me. Somebody behind me. And I got some other people coming behind me. Got to carry the same message I got to carry. Yeah. The first servant that went to see um, Esau that went to tell him, he the first man to go see him. He didn't know how they're going to turn out. Yeah. But then you got to look at somebody coming behind me. Yeah. That's what I look at. And I carry the message I'm putting out here. Somebody coming behind me. Yeah. I ain't the first man to do this. All I'm doing, is I'm, del- I'm relaying the same message. Trying to set y'all brothers and sisters up. Y'all get enough company that y'all are staying. Stop fun around, keep thinking everybody, everything is all you got and all your hope. That's why so much stuff be such a, a trauma to us and be such a destruction. Everybody and everything you got can't be your everything. My wife, my kids, everything, that's not my everything. My house, my car, that's not my everything. Your who are my everything. Amen. Y'all hear me? And when you start making all this stuff, your, your everything, you're making a little small God. He's going to have to tear it down. He got to have that whole heart singular. Everything you're going to get going to have to be patterned around him. Right. You can't block him. You can't get in the way of him. Can't get too close to him. Y'all got me? Because yeah. you do. He's going to do just like he did Dagon. He's going to push him over. Right. Look at where you place what you got. That's why it fall. Mm-hmm. Go get it and set it right beside and see when he push it down. Yep. I got folks here for relationship. Let me tell you something. That's even when my people here separated. I talked to one. Leon, I appreciate you. I remember that time when you sat at that table, we talked. I talked to your brother one time. Yeah, who was with me? We went out to eat that time. I sat, I sat at that table. I cried then. I said, I tried to tell folks, him, boy, just looking at how Most High had put in my heart just to have a mind, just don't do something. Had I went on and done it, I was a son of man. I just jumped on and done it. I've been selling the wrong one, been screwed up. I remember Leon sat there and you told him, you know, he said, you know, he said, Pastor, you're exactly right. He said, I saw the signs and I did it anyway. He said, you're exactly right. I saw the signs. How many of y'all in here separated from your spouse? How many of y'all saw no signs with these people before you got with them? How many of y'all in here married separated? Raise your hand. Look around the room. Everybody. How many of y'all married separated saw absolutely no signs from these people? We all see signs. We just ignore them. We see signs. We just ignore them. A lot of stuff when I tell these folks and stuff, they fight me. Some of these people said, they know I be telling these folks right. They'd rather fight me, though. They'd rather fight me because they just blind. They so done stupid. They just going to keep doing stuff. I be trying to tell you, all the signs be down. You keep trying to tell yourself it ain't. Everybody have a problem. Everybody. Listen, when you start having problems and they ain't problem and too much, don't fool with it. Don't fool with it because you thinking, ain't no sex involved. Ain't no living with. We shouldn't be having all these problems. Mm. Kiss from lying to you. Right then, you better, if you lie today, I know you're going to lie when we get married. Yeah. I be trying to tell y'all, y'all, just, y'all don't pay attention to stuff. So I see a whole lot further than people. What a lot of us have done, I've been in a relationship, you see signs. Nobody just pop them, just catch folk later. You see signs. You just don't want to acknowledge them because you won't do what you do, and that's when stuff will come back and hurt you later. If I'd have married a girl I was dating before my wife, I'd been sitting here now. Well, I wouldn't be here now. I bet that's not, I'd have killed that hell for I had a kid to have. I'd be with my new first wife. My second new first wife. I ain't have to be dead. 
In that room, I'm just being honest. You, man, y'all don't realize, you go through him, it's just like with everything else. We see signs of things. We just keep at them and keep just antagonizing and trying to see how we can make it work. Maybe it won't be so bad. You can't know till you try and you wind up making a mess. You better leave that street junk where it's at. When you start locking to something, that thing called forever. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not nothing that called forever. I ain't got time to lock load with nothing like that. Forever is forever. Can't get a nerd one. It's a nerd. Can't get a nerd. No, but I got to walk real careful. Ain't that, man, that thing's serious. I'm trying to tell y'all. I can help y'all a lot. A lot of times they be like, he be whole little bad. A lot of y'all could have been married one for me, but you're going to have be out there and y'all going to make my track record look better. My track record, it's that perfect. That's when I ran out here with Dales and go check them and see how they're doing. Call them and say, how you in that wife? They tell, oh, I got another one. I know what they're going to do. I ain't nobody no fool. I watch these people. I can see through these people. I can see through y'all. You just don't think I can. They be thinking I see something different. I can see you. I know your stuff, you ain't doing no good. Y'all don't be fooling me. None of y'all in here be fooling me. That be the part that kill me. Y'all, not one of y'all here think y'all be, y'all think you killing time. Let me say, he didn't say nothing to me. Let me tell you what your danger part is. If I don't say nothing to you, you do know why, don't you? Because you are a bastard. Mm. I ain't got time to correct no bastard. Yeah. Whom you, who will love it. Guess what he do? He be cutting down on Dwayne. He don't say nothing to me. He don't like that joker. That's exactly how he set him up. That's how it work. That's exactly how you who it work. If I get on you, that's the one I hate. If I don't say nothing to you, you the one I love. You know why he set up that way? Because he know you're a fool. That's your logic. He know how you think. That's your logic. Don't say nothing to you. You know you're doing stuff wrong. And nothing gets said to you, huh? Yeah, that's your who I love. He don't love no bastard. A bastard is an illegitimate child. He said, you're not mine. Hmm? You're not legitimate. All right. It hurt him. That's Abraham. He had to set away his son. It hurt him too. But you know what he told him? Don't let it grieve you. Don't let that grieve you. So you know to tell a man that, he got to have it. He got to take it first. He got to take his own advice. It ain't too hard to get rid of you either. Not when you're a bastard and you ain't by my wife. I don't consider you legitimate. It ain't going to be that hard. Abraham had to suck it up, didn't he? Even when he came down, even the Couture kid, why he would yell a lie. He didn't have no letter sent to them laying on you talking about, I don't know, man. I think old boy wrote this up himself. Daddy don't write like that. He made sure why he would yell a lie. You, 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 get away. Make sure. Ain't nothing. He don't want no lawyer to read that, no court paper with Dr. Reed later. You need to hear that while I'm yet alive. Isn't that right? Make sure you see, get, I got everything I had, I gave it unto Yasukut. Huh? Y'all just don't realize when you're going through something, that's why it's so important for us to plan ourselves and make sure y'all got an understanding and a grasp of this word. You're going to make a mess out yourself. Y'all let too much stuff oh well in your heart. Y'all get yourself entertained with too much stuff. Too much stuff pull y'all away. Y'all indulge yourself with too much stuff. Y'all got too much sad stuff y'all do. I be listening to stuff y'all do. I can hear everything y'all be doing. I hear everything y'all be doing. I watch everything y'all do. Don't know y'all fool me. I see y'all be drawn back. Moses, I don't see Moses. I don't even hardly see you no more, Moses. Moses is one of my strongest. He's one of my strongest workers in here. This is my first time telling you that, Moses. You know that because I already see him drawing back. I watched a whole lot of y'all in him. He could have let me not say nothing to him. That would have made you a bastard. You've been a rapping bastard. I watch a whole lot of y'all in him. I watch y'all. Y'all just think I don't. Some of y'all ain't going to say nothing to you. You know why I ain't going to say nothing to you? Because he won't let me. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Do I have to obey if he tell me something? Do we consider him to be a Malachi? Do we consider him to be a Malachi? Second Malachi, 18. I'm going to get ready and get out. I know I had y'all holding something. I got to let them go. Malachi, Beth. Eighteen. Twenty-four. Let's see what I want. I'll try to let y'all go right here because I've been on my time. I got to get through it. Get ready and get through. Listen, 
How then wilt thou turn away the face of one captain of the least of my master's servants and put thy trust on Mizraim for chariots and for horsemen? Mm -hmm. Am I now come up without Yahuwah against this place to destroy it? Yahuwah said to me, go up against this land and destroy it. Then said Eliakim, the son of Hilkiah, and Shebna, and Joah unto... Make it for Aleph, 18. Eighteen, Olive, Malachi, eighteen, twenty-four. Listen. And call ye on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of Yahuwah, and the Allahim that answereth by fire, let him be Allahim. Mm -mm. Gotta be second. Yeah, Beth. It's Beth eighteen. That's true though. What's the last verse? 30 what? 37. Make it 30. We'll read down. It is Beth. 18. We'll read down. Verse 30. Listen. Neither let Hezekiah make you trust in Yahuwah, saying, Yahuwah will surely deliver us, and this city shall not be delivered, and to the hand of the king of Assyria. Mm -hmm. Hearken not to Hezekiah, for thus saith the king of Assyria, make an agreement with me by a present, and come out to me, and then eat ye every man of his own vine, and every one of his fig tree, and drink ye every one of the waters of his cistern, until I come and take you away to a land like your own, a land of corn and wine, a land of bread and vineyards, a land of oil, olive, and of a sweet substance. You know what's bad right here? This is how these folks sell out to the devil. This is what he promised them. You're going to be rich right where you're at, and you're going to have it, and I'm going to take you somewhere just like where you're supposed to be at. There's absolutely no place like us. I remember Zach to say, he just said out of conversation. What did he say about uh, California? Like Jerusalem. Closest thing to Jerusalem. He didn't know that was like the dumbest thing he could put out his mouth, though. But he was just, of course, he was just saying it. It was still dumb. They have no place that's like where we're supposed to be. Amen. There's absolutely nothing. That would be like they have something like a God, or Allahim. There is nothing like Allahim. Amen. There's absolutely nothing like Allahim. Isn't that right? It's called artificial. Everything close to Allahim is called artificial. Okay? So this is how these folks sell out because they look at it's similar to. It's something like. That's why they'll sell out. When these people sell their soul to the devil, they think they're actually selling to somebody that's like him. It's close to, and they're going to have equivalent. Because you think about it, it made sense for them to do it because I'm at least I'm going to be somewhere like I'm supposed to be. Isn't that right? But he let you know, I'm going to come and I'm going to take you away, though. So just like I told, whenever the devil make you make a deal, he'll never give you nothing permanent. I'm going to let you eat every man of his own fig tree, every man drink out his own cistern. Y'all heard about that. What did he tell y'all about that? He told you his people had two failures. He said they heard they hewned out cis trunk that cannot hold water. You traded me in for that which was not Allahim, and you don't say him built you cis trunk that cannot hold water. He told you you got two faults against you. He been watching for a long time. Listen what happened. That ye may live. Now this will be my answer for those that want to know why I don't say nothing to them too. Listen. That ye may live and not die. Listen. And hearken not unto Hezekiah. When he persuadeth you, saying, Yahuwah will deliver us. Come on. Hath any of the gods of the nations delivered at all his land out of the hand of the king of Assyria? Listen. Where are the gods of Hamath and of Arpad? Where are the gods of Sephavaim, Hena, and Iva? Listen. Have they delivered Samaria out of mine hand? Listen. Who are they among all the gods of the countries? that have delivered their country out of mine hand. Yes. That Yahuwah should deliver Jerusalem out of mine hand. Listen. But the people held their peace. But the people did what? Held their peace. But the people did what? Held their peace. What did the people do? Held their peace. Tell them why, they, tell them why I won't say nothing to them. And answered him not a word. Tell them why I won't tell them why I won't correct them. 
for the king's commandment was. For the Malachi commandment was. Saying. Do what? Answer him not. Answer who? Him not. That's good, brother. Good the most honor. We're right. We're right. Make no mistake.